CCSD bus drivers speaking out, telling us they are fearful after two of the district's bus drivers were attacked last week in two separate incidents. Victoria Saha spoke with two drivers who share the same concerns and want better protection, Victoria. Yeah, these drivers tell me they're just doing the job for the students so they can take them to and from school safely. But now they feel like their safety is being jeopardized by rowdy students and adults, and they want more protection. I spoke with two drivers who wanted to remain anonymous in fear of losing their job, but both drivers tell me they are passionate about what they do. You just want to come to work and, and do your job and, and go home to your family. We're just doing our job and the best we can and trying to, a lot of us work uh, double, sh double routes. But safety has always been a big concern and last week's violent attacks on the two drivers are making them reflect on the close calls they've had. It shocks me that it happens but it doesn't surprise me. I've been threatened with violence by a parent. I missed their parent and they tried to chase me down in their car to every stop. Before the new school year started, CCSD invested in a six million dollar project to install nine cameras in each school bus. But drivers say cameras do not stop attacks. It just records them. What good are cameras? It protects us so that they see what we're saying is the truth. Not only are they worried about aggressive parents, but rowdy students. The first thing we do is look into our rearview mirror, the student mirror, and, and that takes our eyes off the road. And they believe the students don't face any consequences from the district. They just tell us, keep on driving. Uh, if the kids sat down, then roll to the next school. Leading them to believe if a student can get away with it, then a parent could as well. Another concern is wanting more help on the bus, such as a school aide, so the driver can strictly focus on driving. I sent these concerns to the school district, and while officials did not specifically address them, they did say in part, CCSD will not tolerate any violence against its employees. CCSD police worked quickly to make an arrest of an individual involved in one of the incidents and continues to investigate the second incident. We expect students to abide by a high standard and adults, whether parents or guardians, must set better examples for their children. Victoria Saha, 8 News Now. Thank you, Victoria. 46-year-old Otis Tanner was arrested for the attack on one of the bus drivers. CCSD reports multiple people attacked the other. No arrest reported yet for that.